What's going on everybody? How you doing? Welcome to Eclectic Skies. Thanks for dropping by. This is my Honey and I's channel. We totally appreciate that. Today I'm hanging out Dunkin' Donuts. I got my java, my coffee, yo. And I'm gonna talk about Mike Francesca. He's coming back to WFAN. <laughs> I'm gonna give you my opinion. Just my own opinion, all right? Yo, forget about it. Come back, bring your popcorn, and uh, let's hang out. <laughs> Welcome back to Eclectic Skies. If you ain't subscribed to yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Hit the button, bada 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 boom, and you're gonna feel better, you know what I'm saying? No doubt, we're getting subscribers every day. We're well over 400 now, and we're so grateful, you know what I'm saying? All right, coolio. Now, I'm not an expert on sport radio. I'm not an expert on sports. I don't know every player, all the teams, but I'm from Brooklyn, and I live in New York. I listen to sport radio. I have listened to different personalities, and um, Mike Francesca, let me tell you something, this brother got it going on. I like Mike Francesca, big time, and I'm so glad that he's coming back to WFAN. All right, cause their ratings are tanking. <laughs> bada boom, bada bing, bada bang. Now I know he just retired a few months ago, and he had a big splash about that, but hey, that's okay. You know, at the time, the man was retiring, all right? But now he's coming back. Let me just tell you a little bit about the history. Again, I'm not an expert. I'm just a fan, I'm one of the fans, and I love sport radio, and I like uh, listening to the radio stations, you know? I like WABC, WOR, and WFAN, no doubt. So. Mike had a show, Mike and the Mad Dog, Chris Russo. They had a really cool show. I listened to it back in the day. It was off the hook, all right? And today, um, today's version was Boomer and Carton. Unfortunately, Carton's not on WFAN anymore. He had to resign due to some personal problems, all right? Because that show was the bomb. But anyway, let me, uh, I digress. <laughs> let me get back to Michael um, Francesco. So what happened, he had a beautiful show, man. It was slamming. Mike and the Mad Dog, you know, Chris Russo, off the hook. I would listen to that show or, as much as I could. The Yankees, Derek Jeter, the Knicks, Patrick Ewing, and all those people, you know, back in the day, right? And then Chris Russo, I guess they were together for 17, 18 years. They had a falling out. You know, it was like a marriage, I guess. You know, it was time for, you know, Chris to move on. So he did. I don't know, he's doing, he's doing, um, I think, serious radio. He's doing another, he's, he's at another radio station. He's been doing that for quite some time. That's cool, you know what I mean? It was time for him to move on, he moved on. And Mike was still there. You know, they call him the sport pope. <laughs> I like that, it's cool. Sometimes they call me Daddy Chase, but yo, that's what my kids call me. They think I'm Daddy Chase, but anyway, I digress. So Mike, um, when Chris left the show, it was a while ago now, on WFAN, I remember that. And you know what? It was like a divorce, like I just said, for Mike, in a sense, because you know what? It was a little depressing that week. You know, I remember that week, you know. I remember that day when he left. And then the days that followed, you know, they had to take down his name. And Mike was looking for a different intro to his um, to his show. He, he tried a few different intros until he finally got his groove back. And what I respect about Mike, Mike Francesca is um, he didn't give up. He didn't quit. He didn't call it in. Uh, you know, he didn't cry like a baby, <laughs> you know? Um, he hung in there and he fought. He kept his, um, he, I think he tried out a few people, didn't work out, and you know what? It was best that he stayed by himself. He was a solo act, and let me tell you, this guy is knowledgeable, he's, he's uh, entertaining, and he sticks to the sports. He doesn't deviate and start talking about crazy things and all kinds of stupid nonsense. 
that, you know, like Michael K and his crew talk about. I don't like Michael K. I don't. Okay? I don't think his ratings are that great anyway. I think his ratings are down. But I'm, I'm really happy that Michael, Michael Francesca, Mike Francesca is definitely coming back. He's coming back uh, Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. I'm excited. And I'm going to start listening to WFAN again. And the Boomer and Geo show, I don't listen to that show no more. Of course, Carton's not on it. All right? That's just the bottom line. Carton was like um, Abbott and Costello. You know, you had the straight guy, which is Boomer, which is, I like Boomer a lot. And then you had, you know, Carton, you know, Craig, um, Craig Carton. He was like, you know, um, Costello, right? Abbott and Costello, remember Abbott and Costello? <laughs> hey, Abbott! So, you know, he was like Costello. I guess he was like uh, Jerry Lewis, you know, but he's funny. Listen, the man has talent. Hopefully they'll, um, you know, he's going through a bunch of problems. Um, hopefully he can get through that, look through the rear view mirror, and then maybe WFAM will, be, you know, will ask him to come back. You know, I hope so because Boomer and um, Gio, I'm not watching that show anymore. I think the ratings are tanking. It's not happening. Um, you know, they, Boomer and Carton, they gel. And you know, Mike and the Mad Dog, they were, they were, they were Boomer and Carton at the time. You know, back in their day. Chris left, and now Mike is all by himself, but uh, he did great. He did great for all those years. He held it down. I think he held it down from 1 p.m. to 7 o'clock or 6.30. I mean, that's a lot of time there. And with really, really, he was like the best. You know, so I'm, again, I'm, I'm really happy that Mike uh, Francesca's coming back to WFAN. Coolio, man. I'll be listening now. Uh, the guy's a giant in his industry. Um, the guy rocks. Uh, <laughs> Again, he's knowledgeable and uh, he doesn't, uh, you know, he gets right to the sports. He doesn't, again, he doesn't talk about nonsense. That's what I can't stand, you know, like Michael Kay and his crew, just nonsense. I actually like his buddy. Uh, his sidekick is awesome. That guy is very good. I think he should have his own show. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know that, all right? Um, you know, give me your thoughts on uh, Mike Francesca coming back to WFAN. I'd like to hear about it, you know. Again, my honey and I, we uh, this is the name of our channel, Eclectic Skies, because we talk about different topics that are going on, things that are going on in our life, spirituality, uh, the RV, it's all cool, man. So listen, you all have a blessed day, and uh, definitely subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, that would be cool, and um, share the video. All right? Y'all have a blessed day, man. Later.